Uh, hey, Jay, this is Greg calling from Baldwin Park, California. I just finished listening to episode 1143, uh, Strategies for Winning a Coalition. And, you know, it was a great episode. I loved it. But at the end, you were, you were talking about how discussions about the primary uh, boiled down to people having crushes on celebrities, whether it's, you know, a Bernie supporter or a Hillary supporter. And the thing is that as a, you know, Bernie supporter myself, who, um, because of what they've done in rigging the primary, um, has left the Democratic Party and become, uh, you know, a progressive independent, you know, I really find that look, you know, the way you looked at uh, the motivations behind, like, Bernie supporters to be really disingenuous. Uh, a lot of Bernie supporters that I know of, practically all of them, um, their emotions and you know, rage and passion didn't come so much of a, as a love of Bernie, but from the fact that they knew, you know, we've seen ever since the, the primary, when it went to Hillary, that far back people were calling out, you know, the fact that it was rigged, that, you know, uh, in New York City, it has just come out officially that, you know, I think 200,000 um, voters were uh, kicked off the rolls during the primary. I mean, you know, the news of this corruption uh, was, it's old. I mean, this is old news. We've all known this for a long time. Um, it's just only been now proven. So the truth is, when you talk to brand supporters, for them, for us, a lot of it just comes from the fact that we feel like we saw the Democratic Party Ironically enough, denying democracy to their to their constituents, you know, by denying us our voices. So it, it, it's a, a civil rights kind of feeling, kind of uh, anger that that's out there. You know, feeling of being denied what we perceive of uh, as our rights to to vote and have a say in how a party operates. You know, whereas I think for a lot of people who are Hillary supporters, they look at it more as a uh, cult of personality about her, you know, because she would have been the first woman president. And that's a valid, wonderful thing to have, you know, a first woman president. But, you know, all this corruption that we've seen really shows that she can't be, you know, she, in my opinion, she can't be the face of the first female president because one would want that face to belong to someone who is involved in things like this and corruption like this. So I just wanted to throw it out there as a Bernie supporter. I felt, you know, that it should be further say, stated that it's not just a love of Bernie or only a love of Bernie as a person, but, you know, it's, it's the fact that he pushed for progressive policies and other things that she was stood against, like $15 minimum wage and universal health care and universal college. These are policies that, she, that Hillary and the DNC do not support. Anyways, I just want to give you that much. Uh, hear from you later, Jay. Bye.